Okay, I'm back again. Um, in case you're just jumping on this video, I'm doing two videos today. I have the two con, it's the cold season in Thailand. It's not that cold, it's like 12 degrees in the morning. Um, but when you're used to 35, 12 is quite cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, also, of course, no buildings here have heat. There's no such thing as heat here. So all the buildings are, uh, at least a traditional house like this, apparently traditional is quite, um, quite open. Anyway, whatever. So I've got all the gear on this and it's also early in the morning, which is the coolest time. So here's the point of this video, a continuation of the other one, where I showed how to put a new saddle in. This one is about tuning with friction pegs. And I use uh, viola pegs, essentially. Well, I use viola pegs for my pegs. And um, sometimes tweak them a little bit, like I put a little dot in them or something. Anyway, the point is, when you're using these, uh, it's actually, some people get a little bit intimidated, I think, by them, and they're actually very easy to use, and I think very reliable, if they're well fitted and all that, right? Um, so, I'm going to, I guess I'll just start tuning and, and talk and see what comes up from talking about it. But, uh, I t got it tuned up fairly close, so I'll just bring that up. Um, one thing, uh, so, like, s s sometimes you want to have the, the pegs pushed in, so El Andres says, oh, you can just do that, which works. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll press, like, if I want it to be a little bit snugger, I'll just, um, like, put my hand here and, and put pressure this way, right? And, and if you're up here, you're, I think you're okay. The thing is, you don't want to do it here, right? It puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the joint, right? So you really want to get up. If you want, if that's how you're going to do it, you want to get your hands up here to support it. Um, and quite often, I'll go a little high and then let it drop down. Be because um, I'm tuning it up with completely loose strings here, um, it's, I'm going up high because it's definitely going to drop down anyway. But if I'm a little bit high, one thing you can do is you can like pull the string, you can kind of see, oh, it's going to be hard to see. I'm like, I'm just sort of lancing the string a bit, I can pull that metal drop it down, especially if it's their new strings, right? You can also, if you want to tune it, if you want to get it up a tiny bit, you can also push down just on the side of the nut, just a bit, like, see how that can go up, that's a lot. Like that in a bit. Put my hand up here. But they should. The. the uh... The pegs should move smoothly. They might go tick, 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 tick a little. On the guitars, they. They'll do that sometimes. But what I do, and this was. This stuff, because I was looking for some when I was doing working on shamisens. I was working on because shamisens use friction pegs. Ooh, look at that. Shamisens use friction pegs as well. Um, and I went to a local uh, luthier this is when I was in Banff at the Banff Center. And there's a great uh, shop in Banff. They make uh, instruments and, and repairs and stuff because there's lots of high end string player, boat string players that come to the Banff Center. Anyway, so there's a, there is a, sorry, now I'm, now I'm distracted. Let's just get this kind of close. Yeah, so, um, they said, oh, we just use a bit of plasticine, <laughs> which is that modeling clay that never dries, right? So what I do is, I, and I, I've been using that ever since. I've been using it for like, gee, I don't know, eight years. I just, I just rub a bit on the peg. 
usually when I change strings, I'll take a tiny bit and put, put it in there. And it works great. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Completely slacked off. They're gonna, they're gonna tune down. They're gonna go down, right? just now so if I'm not quite there I'll actually loosen the string and then go up so I'll come up to to the um, I'll come up to the the pitch I'm looking for from below Can do, but if you're having trouble here for some reason, you can also take the string and tune it with you know, do it that way. Um, if for some reason it's sticking or something, that's no problem doing that. But generally speaking, you should be able to do this. But the main, my main point of this video is to make sure that no one does puts braces their hand here and then pushes the pegs in from here. I'm sure I could do that right now and just snap the neck. So I'm very strong. Anyway, <laughs> might be okay, but please be careful with that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Not too much to say about it, you know. Uh, I guess I could say if, if these pegs do drive you crazy, and for sure, if some people are, oops, what's that? Some people are into like are doing a lot of performing and stuff. I, I can see it being an issue. Because one thing with, with this kind of peg is that with changes in weather and humidity, that could change. This whole thing changes a bit, you know what I mean? Um, so there are, if you like the, the peg head style, there are geared pegs. There's uh, Whitner pegs and for flamenco guitar or for guitar and also peg head pegs for guitar. I've never actually used them. I've always just used pegs so far. Uh, but I might try a guitar with them soon, actually. I'd like to try them out. The Whitners look really great to me. The way they're geared and stuff, it's eight to one. You can, doesn't matter what direction, they're geared the same way. Peg heads work a little differently, but I'm sure they both work great. The one thing is that peg heads look more like real pegs, and the Whitners look a little bit different. But that's all right to me. I don't mind one way or the other. Anyways, hopefully that helps. Please, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna also add Anders Allison, I think his, his name is. I'm gonna in the com in the description. I'm gonna add his video as well. It's a really good video, and he's much more serious than me, I think. So it's very very clear and very short, rather than my rambling stuff. Anyway, hope hope this helps a touch. And uh, Mary, I guess Merry Christmas. Jesus, it's almost Christmas, and Happy New Year. Sabadibi mai ha. Ciao.